Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, Cynic Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get M'Baku from Marvel Future Fight for free and then rank him up. And I wanted to make some adjustments to this rank up video because we did one not that long ago for Toxin. Yay, new characters. And I misspoke about where you could get all of the rank up tickets. So now is a perfect time to edit that uh, and really give you the best information possible because it's actually easier than ever to rank up characters so i know he's a premium character i know you only get him at one star but that is more than enough trust me to get him to six stars and be able to utilize his leadership and utilize his effects um, without having to drop money so we're gonna go into the legendary battle you do not have to uh, buy the legendary battle extremo you just play the regular legendary battle and upon completion i believe you will get Baku. I don't know because I actually haven't done it. I'm doing it for the first time right now live. But let's see. Shuri battling Mbaku. Okay, I'm not going to read through the text. You can read through this on your own. Let's see here. Oh, he's pissed. She's pissed. Let's, she, doesn't have a, she doesn't have a staff in her. Uh, we're going to do five. Cancel four. Cancel three. And we're going to pop off. Okay, we did half his HP. Poggers. Oh, he's, he's upset now. He strikes the ground to create a rock slide. Okay, that's pretty cool. You gotta dodge this stuff. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, I gotta look down, so it looks like my eyes are closed, but they're not. We got him. Okay, this is normal mode. It should be very easy. Complete it. And you get a bunch of rewards. Cool. Oh, and then Riri shows up. Riri's talking to uh, Shuri. I still don't have Umbaku. Oh, boy. Okay, never mind. You gotta do the next one. You pro That was a cool background. You probably have to do all three of them. So we're going to do all three of them and then see when we get M'Baku. Oh, we're fighting with him now in New York. Oh, who's that? Oh, drop kicking fools left and right. Boom. Yo, sure, he's a machine. She's killing. Okay. M'Baku's kind of cool, too. Whoa, throwing. <laughs> oh, it's a bomb. I was like, <laughs> they're trying to trip him. There we go. So you only have to complete the second mission to get M'Baku. You don't even have to complete the third one. So there we go. We have M'Baku as a brand new one-star character. Now, here is where the new information comes into play. I told you guys that you needed to wait for the token, the, the, the sort of valuable um, better token event, which as you can see is right here. It is the Wakanda Forever token event. This is the next one coming up where you can trade tokens for premium card, mega tier two ticket, etc. I told you that you needed to get some of the rank up tickets from there. That was incorrect. The only rank up ticket you need to buy from this event which we also had similarly with the symbiote event before that the juggernaut event okay for fear itself the only one you need to buy is the two star rank up ticket just the two star rank up ticket that's it not the five not the six nothing just the two which is perfect because every single month you get 700 tokens if you do all 14 days 50 tokens per day and you can use 650 of those tokens to buy a mega tier two ticket or a premium card and then you can use the last 50 tokens to get that two star rank up ticket so you get the two star rank up ticket which is right here how do you get three four five and six well you get three and four right now from this existing uh pre-update token event so get the pre-update token event get the three star rank up ticket get the four star rank up ticket boom you're done three and four are locked then you get the six star rank up ticket you actually get the, the six star rank up ticket from the future pass. OK, so that's how you get that one completely for free. Last but not least, you need to find a way to get the five star rank up ticket. I don't have an image for you because I couldn't find one last minute. I woke up scrambling to make this video. And uh, and so you get it from the gold spending event. It comes around once a month. It's not the gold chest, but it's a gold spending bonus mission. So it'll be here. It's just like the crystal bonus mission. You know, you have all these tiers and one of the tiers at the end when you spend like 30 million gold or 40 million gold over like a 10 day, seven day period is you get a free five star rank up ticket. So the, the three, four, five and six are all completely free. You should be doing this every single month to stock up on those on those tickets. And that's why I have so many of them. And basically, once you have the two through six, you have the equivalent of a mega rank up ticket. So now what you can do is you can take your one star M'Baku and you can essentially use rank up tickets to get him all the way to six stars. And you do want to get him to six stars, right? Because you want to be able to use his leadership and then more, you know, more than that, you actually want to get him to tier two because then you unlock the support passive. So that's where the mega tier two ticket comes into play. You could build him up, but then you'd have to buy a, uh, you know, 
you'd have to buy a uh, what's it called uh, bio sub excuse me uh, to get the bios because you wouldn't have bios for his gears right you'd have to buy this so avoiding buying this what you would do is just one of the months where you would have selected the p card you select the mega tier 2 ticket i'm not saying that the uh mega tier 2 ticket is the best option for you right away if it's your first month playing but if you've already built up some good cards you already have some pierce or whatever uh, then you're probably okay to skip the p card once in a while especially if you want to build up a premium character like carnage like luna whoever it is or in this case umbaku again I'm not commenting yet on whether his value is worth using a mega tier two. I'm just explaining how you would go about doing that. And again, it's the same event that we talked about to get the two star rank up ticket. It'll be this one. You'll trade 650 of your tokens for the mega tier two ticket, and you'll trade 50 of your tokens for the two star rank up ticket. And then in, a, in about two weeks, a little bit less than two weeks, you'll be able to, you know, one shot your Mbaku all the way up to, um, to tier two with, with this ticket right here. So basically, you take your six-star level one Mbaku. You don't have to do anything. And uh, you just mega mega tier two him. And you're done. And this is essentially the method by which you uh, rank up premium characters as efficiently as possible. Uh, unless you can farm their bios somehow, this is really the only way to do it uh, without uh, having to spend money. Of course, if you spend money on a bio sub, you don't have to get the mega tier two ticket at all. Uh, it's probably going to take you more time because you have to build up bios for the gears. But keep in mind, the gears all cost one bio now per upgrade rather than one, two, three, as it used to. So you don't have to worry about that too much. So we have our level 60 Mbaku uh, tier two. We have the uh, passive unlocked. Let me just do a little bit of quick uh, building on him. And then we'll just try him out on some tier two content. So from Mbaku's build, and you can use this same process for other characters that you're building that are not premium characters. Um, you just basically just want to go for uh, attack Uru that's going to match the type that list that is listed on the front page. So you have physical attack here. So we're going to give him physical attack Uru. Pretty simple. To save gold, you want to go ahead and only awaken three or four of the Uru slots rather than always aiming for five. Unless, again, you have a ton of gold to burn. So that's what we went ahead and did. Gave him four and six star Uru just because I wanted to mix it up. But four star Uru is generally fine, especially for a support type character who isn't going to be doing most of the damage for the iso set i went for power of angry hulk stage six again iso eight set doesn't matter too much for a support slash lead but you could also go for hawk's eye or overdrive but i don't think he's going to be doing much more than a little bit of dps and then mostly lead slash support no artifact no custom gear however i did notice that because he has skill cooldown on his fourth gear doesn't have ignored defense but he does have skill cooldown it made it a little bit easier for me to cap his stats basically everything was capped Whereas with the amount of uh, cooldown that I have on my cards, usually my characters are about two to three percent undercapped, and then I have to give them one or two skill cooldown Uru. So that's the build. Pretty low physical attack at twenty-eight thousand, but we are level sixty, not level seventy. But I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little clip of his PVE gameplay, also to talk about his rotation, how his skills look, feel, targeting, AOE. Stuff like that here we have a triple support team up using mbaku's lead shuri support and riri williams support for the ignore dodge and the increased damage to bosses uh you could obviously substitute out these uh supports for other supports but i just thought it would be funny to do so so the basic rotation for mbaku and that looks pretty nice to me is three delayed cancel okay chill 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 three delayed cancel five when he slams down going to four and so that way you get the buffs from three you get the hits from five and then you can deal the final damage with four i don't even know if you want to wait for the roar on three you may be better off like if it's difficult for you to time you may just want to cancel three immediately and then five delay cancel four proxima does jump around a lot which can definitely be annoying for a character like mbaku who leaves a small aoe the way he does with that ice on the fifth skill so you may want to use a uh, mind control or paralysis striker to help you keep the boss in one place if you're finding that that's an issue um we got to run around here but yeah he's got good he's got good defenses and tankiness he's got good movement speed seems like a good pickup uh, and a good investment for newer players especially considering you're also getting a proc friendly character from what it seems and you're also getting an amazing lead slash support. Oh, 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 oh. So, 
what just happened there is a very rare occurrence. If you go back and slow down the video, um, Prox, I believe what happened, I'm not 100% sure, but what I believe what happened was Proxima was taking damage even though no one was hitting her. I'm not sure if Shuri was striking, but what can also happen to Proxima, which is really funny, is she can hurt herself. This is a little known fact about Proxima, but she has a particular skill where she throws out an orb that follows you, and that orb, if it if it like goes through Proxima, it actually deals damage to Proxima, so she can hurt herself. Um, I discovered this years ago when I was just messing around in World Boss Ultimate before World Boss Legend was a thing, uh, but we haven't talked about it in years, uh, so I you know assumed it would never come back uh, and be shown in a video. But yeah, I th I think that's what I just caught on camera. But yeah, I also just caught on camera a level 60 character with no build beating stage 99. Pierce definitely makes that. Uh, a possibility as well. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, hype too much. Uh, uh, you know, heap too much praise on Mbaku, but he's very good, and he he immediately has value, right? He immediately has value for all accounts because of the uh, uh, all ally support passive, in addition to the leadership. And we've already seen players slotting him in as a leadership for Alliance Battle Legend. I believe it was yesterday. I didn't have him built up just yet, but he does qualify for the Combat Human Male. So if ABL is something that you're interested in, even as a newer player, this is an early build character that you definitely want to invest in. Um, not necessarily ahead of, of bigger juggernauts uh, in, in the you know premium world, but definitely one you want to keep on your radar because his value has been immediately placed in the game beyond something more obscure like Alliance Conquest for a character like Toxin. So yeah. Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of M'Baku. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.